Well, this video has really nothing to do with propane or any of the equipment that goes with it. It's more about maintenance and uh, dealing with a safety issue. Primarily the safety issue of the flat metal up here on my catwalk system. My catwalk comes in, it's a ben, made by Benco products, comes in essentially 20 foot sections and every section is bordered with this flat steel. And right in here, so it can be pretty slippery because it's just galvanized metal, just like this is. What I've done in the past, which did not work as well as I thought, was I had some leftover aluminum paint and I had a rough hand sanding block for sanding down pipe and tanks and stuff like that. And I hand sanded everything and then I used that aluminum paint and I mixed in some grit, some paint grit. And then I applied it. Well, my two mistakes were that the hand sanding block was not aggressive enough. It did not cut into the surface of this galvanized metal to allow the paint to adhere that well. Plus, the aluminum paint was too thin. It just had, it just had the wrong consistency in it. So, what I've done now is I've use some zinc paint i've used been using quite a bit of zinc paint this summer and i used some of that and i mixed in penetrol and grit and this is the result of it um, i mix it kind of heavy with the grit and so it, it uh, it's cured out really well and so far it's been um, pretty great because um, you know when these when this flat metal gets wet or it gets a little bit of frost on it it can be very slippery up here because you can just see the uh, see that and your foot can really go sliding on it I do it here in front of my gates get access to the cars and then the biggest section is right here in front of the shelter because you're going in and out of the shelter all the time and when it's slippery or icy or rainy or something like that your foot just always slips and turns and you temporarily um, lose your footing and start to lose your balance so this has worked out really good um, I'll show you the paint and the penetrol and everything the paint I've been using has it um, at least a 94% zinc content and one thing to keep in mind when you get it or order it is that it's very heavy it's like 30 pounds per gallon uh, something like that so I will um, stop it here and pick it up again and uh, when I get down to my trailer all right so I'll just quickly go over what I did and so far doing it this way has has been working really well I'm, I'm having good adhesion and everything is uh uh doing what i wanted what i first thing i did different is i used this orbital sander instead of a sanding block and then i used 80 grit so that sanding disc there's 80 grit something you know fairly aggressive but not terribly aggressive and then now I've been using this galvanized paint. I use this and I've used Rust-Oleum brand galvanized paint. Um, it's so I figure well, you know, it's being it's been good, it flows good, it adheres good, and it'll give the right uh, the only drawback with that aluminum besides being too thin was it was very reflective in the sunlight. So this is a more muted down, a more matte finish. Um and so what I do, whether I buy it in the quartz or whether I buy it in the gallon, is I get an empty, <clears throat> I go buy an empty container, same size, stir this up really good, 
and then I put half of it in here then I use a product called Penetrol and Penetrol is either made for oil based paint or latex paint so I get the one for oil based paint I put four ounces of Penetrol in each one then stir it up really 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 well get that Penetrol really mixed in all paint as you know you've I'm sure you've painted a few hundred gallons in your time uh, but this galvanized paint more so than regular paint when it's hot out and the metal is really warm it wants to cure out it wants to dry really quickly and you have a, a difficult time spreading it around so if you mix the penetrol in there it gives it a better spread it allows it to be brushed on a lot more evenly and then when it cures it cures more evenly uh, I really like this penetrol stuff so I use it quite a bit then after I get it all mixed up I take a container I just used um, a little one quart container and I pour about oh, between two and three inches no more than three inches worth of paint in in an empty container and then I mix in uh, this is what I get from my ace hardware uh, it's just a um, pretty simple grit um, here's that's what it looks like just kind of like a fine sand and then I start pouring this in there and then you just keep stirring it and stirring it and stirring it until it has the consistency of like a thin milkshake and then go and brush it on and then you just you go by look and you see if it looks like it's going to be covering well and it's going to be providing enough grit um, and the nice thing about mixing this in smaller batches is this grit if you mix it in a larger batch the grit will tend to settle in the bottom unless you're using it up rather quickly and you just have to keep stirring it but when you're doing it in a small batch um, it tends to stay suspended in the paint and it goes on really well um, so I put it on there give it um, I painted them on a Friday afternoon and I didn't get back up there till a Monday morning so I gave it more than 24 hours to cure and that helps a lot too so uh, if if you're dealing with slipping and sliding up there like I have been um, this is what I did it fixed my problem works for me maybe it'll work for you uh, I hope this has been helpful thank you